Good morning, everyone. Bonjour tout le monde. Today, as you can see, we are reading a book in French, en français. Tu es là pour moi. So it's written by Monique Grace Smith. In English, it is You Hold Me Up. And it's illustrated by Danielle. Danielle. Um, Monique Grace Smith, you may have seen her books before. We have a lot of her books on Destiny Discover. She's an Indigenous author. She's of Cree, Lakota, and Scottish descent. She's Canadian. She's written children books. She's written books for young adults, and she's written books for adults to read as well. Um, if you're interested in reading more books by her after this, you can see them. There's books, but uh, there's books by her on Epic as well. Also on Destiny Discover, really great books with really great messaging. So I am going to be reading today's book in French and English. You'll see on the pages we're going to have the French text and also the English text for all of our kindergarten, grade one, and grade two, and grade three friends who are unfamiliar with the language yet but are grade fours to eights. You may see some familiar words as we go through. At the end of the book, there is a really nice author's note. I am not going to read the author's note, though, because I found a very great video of the author herself reading her note and talking a little bit more about her book and her message. So I'm going to play you a video of the author reading her own message to you. And then after, we have an activity that we will leave off with. Tu es là pour moi quand tu es gentil. You hold me up when you are kind to me. Quand tu partages ta collection when you share with me. Quand tu m'apprends des choses, when you learn with me. Tu es là pour moi quand tu joues avec moi. You hold me up when you play with me. Quand tu me fais rire, when you laugh with me. Quand tu chantes avec moi, when you sing with me. Tu es là pour moi quand tu me consoles. You hold me up when you comfort me. Quand tu m'écoutes, when you listen to me. Quand tu me respect, when you respect me. Tu es là pour moi, you hold me up. Et moi, je suis là pour toi. I hold you up. L'un pour l'autre, we hold each other up. We're going to listen to the author with her author, read her own message to us. In Canada, we have a long history of legislation and policies that have affected the wellness of Indigenous children, families, and communities. One of the most impactful of those was Indian residential schools, and in the United States known as boarding schools. For over 150 years in Canada, Indigenous children, First Nations, Métis, and Inuit, as young as five, were taken from their families, communities, and cultures, and placed in residential schools. At these schools, abuse was rampant. The children were separated from their siblings and cousins, forbidden to speak their languages or practice their culture, often fed little or rotten food, and were denied basic necessities. With this book, we're embarking on a journey of healing and reconciliation. I wrote it to remind us of our common humanity and the importance of holding each other up with respect and dignity. I hope it's a foundational book for our littlest citizens. A book that encourages dialogue among children, their families, their care providers, and their educators. At its heart, it's a book about love, building relationships, and fostering empathy. And so that's how this book came about, was to think about, for those littlest citizens, what are those values that we can foster that help them to be citizens that hold and respect each other. And that means just honoring who they are as a human being, their dignity and their contributions to the wellness of our world. Because I think it's in the holding up of each other that our common humanity uh, really begins to shine. And we're in a time in our world where we need more people holding each other up 
because there are a lot of forces to bring people down and we need to make sure our words and our gestures and how we raise our little citizens really raise them up so that they can also then hold their friends and their family members up. I think it's more impactful to hear her reading the author's author's note. I was going to read it and then I found the video. There's so much more that she said there that I think is so important. And one of the reasons why I picked this book, um, there are, like she said, there's so many things and forces now that bring people down that we need more people who are going to hold each other up, do things for each other, say things to each other, be there for each other to be that support system. So what you're going to do today is think about a person in your life who holds you up. Who is, uh, sorry, how is this person there for you? What do they do to hold you up? So it could be someone in your family. It could be a friend. It could be a teacher. Um, it could be lots of different people that are there for you in lots of different ways. Um, it, if I'm thinking about some people in my life, and sometimes someone is there for me just simply by being there to listen. Sometimes someone is there to there for me by seeing that I need some help to get things done. So they offer to help me to get things done, or they help me. Um, finish that thing that I'm trying to finish, whether it's something for work or school or something at home. Sometimes it's just that person who's going to give me a hug just because to show me that they care for me. There's lots of different ways that you might show someone that you are there for them and other people show you that they're there for you. So you, what I'd like for you to do is maybe write a letter or make a card for this person to show them how thankful you are for what they do for you and how they hold you up. So, if you want to write a letter or an email to this person, you can do that. If you want to make a card, either digitally or on paper, you can do that as well. And it would be such a nice thing if you could then share it with that person who is that person who's there for you and that person who holds you up. So that's where we're going to leave our read aloud for today to think about all the things we do that show other people that we are there for them and that other people do for us. I hope you um, have learned something from today's read aloud. Like I said, there's a lot of other great books by Monique Gray Smith and Destiny Discover on Epic that you can read. And the messaging is also great and great books for our little friends to read. And also great books for um, our older students and our junior and intermediates to read as well. With that, I'm going to end our read aloud here for today. Have a wonderful rest of your day, everybody. See you soon. Bye.